Did you know that one in 68 children in the U.S. are on the autism spectrum? In fact, autism is one of the fastest growing developmental disorders in our country. And now our friends at Freedom Service Dogs have combined forces with Disco Dogs to provide specially trained service dogs for kids with autism related differences. Laura Edwards joins me now from Freedom Service Dogs, Freedom Service Dogs, excuse me, and she has more about this wonderful program. Good to see you. Thank you, Denise. Introduce me to who we have here today. This is sweet little Iko. She's a one-year-old golden retriever and Iko. she's in training at Freedom Service Dogs with us. She is such a sweetheart. She really is. She's Iko. a candidate for our Disco's Dogs program to help a child with autism. Can Visit. I say hello? Is that okay? Yes, I'll give you the command. Visit. 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 Hi, sweetheart. You're Good so girl. sweet. She is just full of love. Tell me more about Freedom Service Dogs. Freedom Service Dogs is a Denver based nonprofit organization that releases the potential of shelter animals by changing them and transforming them into custom trained, life changing animals for individuals in need. Well, I have been a fan of Freedom Service Dogs for quite some time. We've had you on the show before for, for different acts of kindness that you all do. But now you're helping children and families with autism. Tell me more about that. Well, about a year ago, through an acquisition merger, we joined forces with Disco's Dogs here in Denver to provide more families with a life-changing assistance animal for individuals on the autism spectrum. And you have a very personal connection with this. I do. My son, Ian, who is 11 years old, is on the autism spectrum. And when he was a very young man, we looked into getting a service dog to assist him with his struggles. And we learned very, very quickly that an assistance dog was either going to cost us between $14,000 to $40,000, or there were programs that couldn't assist us at all because our son was so young. And as a result, we adopted a dog. Mm -hmm. that dog you see there named Disco. And is that Ian? That is Ian, Aww. my son. And we adopted Disco and the prison program helped us train him on his basics and we completed his public access training. And after that experience, I knew right away that there were so many families in Colorado right. who needed the same kind of help that my son needed. And so we formed Disco's Dogs. And just a year ago, Freedom Service Dogs joined forces with Disco's to assist more families in Colorado. Well, from mom to mom, I'm so happy oh, for you. Yes. Thank you. Oh, Oh, gosh, it's good to see when your son is happy and playing and yes. loving life, yes. especially when they have their own struggles in life. So lot, let's talk about how service dogs actually help kids and even families that deal with autism on a daily basis. What do they do? So a lot of these dogs, what they can do is they can provide a social bridge. A lot of these children, they don't um, adhere to a lot of the social constructs that neuro typical people can adhere to. So these dogs act as a social bridge. They're no longer the kid with the autism, they're the kid with the really cool right. dog. That's these, awesome. these dogs also help these children with transitions going from one place to another and they can provide what we call proprioceptive input, much like a weighted blanket that helps center the child. These dogs have also shown to be very helpful in therapy situations that help develop social skills, help develop language abilities, also help with fine and gross motor skills as well. So do, do the dogs actually help with tasks? As yes, well? absolutely. Okay. All of our service dogs at Freedom Service Dogs are custom trained to that particular child's need. However, we train at least three tasks for every single dog. So the dog can interrupt a self-injurious behavior, a stimming behavior. Um, Ian has a stimming behavior where he goes like this. Mm -hmm. And while it's not injurious to him, he's embarrassed by it. Right, right, so right. his dog is trained or was trained to nudge his arm down, to give him something else to focus on. Isn't that interesting? I know sometimes when like just personal tics sometimes mm -hmm. you know when you get a little nervous like I'll play with my hands or something and that's something st uh, similar to what your son was doing right exactly okay. and, and the Understood. dog can be trained to respond to that behavior to help the child how long does it take to train a dog like this so at Freedom Service Dogs we spend a lot of upfront time with our dogs training them making sure they've got the right temperament making sure that they've got the right skills on board and that they want to do this work it's very important that all the dogs we use at Freedom work with a wag Oh, and that's cute. So we, we spend a great deal of time making sure that that happens. But then we spend three months one-on-one -on -one with all of our Disco's Dogs families training side-by-side -side with them. So they're learning the skills for this lifelong partnership oh, with their important. child. And Very we do important. it with them. How can someone learn more about the service that you offer or maybe if they want to adopt a dog? There's so many ways that people can help at Freedom Service Dogs. We like to say we survive on dog kisses, sunshine, and the kindness of others. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> 
um, being a nonprofit and that we don't charge our client recipients of a penny to receive these amazing animals. We can always use financial resources if you have them. We can use your time. We have a wonderful mm -hmm. and vibrant volunteer program. And you can learn more about all of our programs at freedomservicedogs.org. So if there's anyone watching, not only volunteering their time, but maybe there's some businesses out there that want to donate and help continue Freedom Service Dogs and Disco Dogs mission. Can they do that? Absolutely. We'd okay. love to hear from you. And if you're interested in applying for a dog, if you have a child on the autism spectrum and you think and you'd like to maybe investigate whether a dog might be helpful for your family and your child, go to our website at freedomservicedogs.org. You can apply there. Wonderful. Well, thank you. And thank you for thank sharing you. your story about Ian. I'm glad he's doing so well. He is. All right, you can learn more about the Disco's Dogs program at Freedom Service Dogs, or while you're at it, volunteer, donate, or apply to one of their many programs. Freedom Service Dogs is located at 7193 Dillon Court, and that's in Inglewood. Call them at 303 922-6231 or you can find them online at freedomservicedogs.org.